so hard to get it without strikes. Oh, this is the part I'm most excited about. So sweet. It's like a brand new bow. It's in the details. I'm Stephanie, and this is Travis. Together we bought a Hunter 42 Passage that we called Gypsy. We sold almost everything that we owned and moved aboard. After living on Gypsy through a Toronto winter, we decided that we had to get down south. Though we've got very little sailing experience, we decided to leave it all behind in our home country Canada to live out our dream in sailing the world. We're so pumped to share this adventure of a lifetime. Hey everyone, this week we're finally getting to a job we originally planned on doing while on the hard, repainting the non-skid on our deck. Nothing like a coat of fresh paint. That's so white. We're using Kiwi Grip. It came with the Kiwi Roller right here. We started off doing the white on the top deck with the Kiwi Roller, but it made it really chunky. I don't know if you can tell. Right there, I guess you can see on the tape. It was a little bit more aggressive looking than we had liked. So Travis just tried using, what is this, like a plain foam roller? Yeah, it's a plain foam roller. And when he started doing the other section here, it looks far better. It's closer to the texture that we had before. It's a little bit of a softer look. So I think we're just gonna stick with using this roller as opposed to the one that came with the kit. Why does it look so thick? Because it is thick. And then what, as you roll it, it thins out to what it looks like there? Hopefully. Is that what it did before? Yeah. That paint was difficult. You said to work really fast in our climate. And it said have two people for the job yeah. for a reason. I found a new method of applying as I'm painting and then you get like a, a nice thin texture. Tried three different ways on our front of our boat here. <laughs> so we have three different looks. No. That one's just horribly streaky. We got a little bit of like this pickup when we were rolling when it was starting to dry. But now we know the rest of the decks when we do the gray on the sides here should look a lot better. As you're painting the next section, I just got to peel the tape off right away. Yeah, I think that'll work. I might want more texture on our walkways here. Because you don't walk on this too much. You're more like walking around. Like, this is where you want the most grip. Which means you'd want like that aggressive texture. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was, looks nice. It's like super stark white. I think it looks good for our first go. So weird to not have any safety lines on the boat. Yeah. 
I woke up at like just before six because you want to do this paint uh, when it's cool out because we've tried the tops here in the dead of the day and it's like it dries so bloody quick so I'm gonna do a little bit of taping a little bit of cutting and then gonna get to it so all I'm using is painters tape and I found this tool to be quite helpful it is a fabric cutter to go around the corners just a roller looks like a pizza cutter and you can get like really nice clean cuts around corners so I'll show you so I just straight tape everything and then leave the corners exposed so then I tape those and then I cut them so you don't have to try to go around the corner with the tape less of a curve you can go around with the tape like these ones I was able to get the curve but this is all I do It's like 6 a.m. I just got out of bed and I think Travis got up super early to get started. You got up early. Can you see any lines down there? Nope. Really hard now that the sun's out. Like really hard. Just gonna work fast. Otherwise that dries and then I can't match them. Yeah, and then you'll see a line probably. so hard to get it without streaks. It's just too hot. Like... Yeah, I see a little bit of the streakage there now in this lighting. Might just have to go over it again after. <sighs> I didn't have to tape and I could just do it really like, I don't know. Quick. Somehow really good, just not in the corners to get away the majority of the streaks. Maybe we'll do that, but probably end up taping it again. I do all the taping. I think the first few sections of gray look really good. It's really hard to get no streaks. Like I can, there's some streaks in here. We had it in the, the top part and we just did another layer, like another coat the next day, but we had to retape everything and it's really annoying. annoying. And I know you probably put it on really thick but we tried that too and then it, that was also really annoying just because of the climate we're working in it's really hard um, well the first few sections weren't streaky so I don't know but some sections of our boat had a lot of streaks on it from whoever did it last like did you see all those marks yeah well we're not using much paint so like if I get this one liter down to there we have four more so what we can do is do this, if we don't like it, then we can just do another layer. So we'll probably have like three, three of these. Extra? Yeah, probably. So how excited are we to paint the back here? Oh, this is the part I'm most excited about. So as you can see, we have a lot of ugliness going on here. The old owner was painting something and a boat came by and washed the can of paint and it just spilled and he didn't clean it up. So we tried to clean it up as best we could. Yeah, it actually looked way worse than this because there was paint all over the white, like everywhere. It just looked like a mess. Like literally someone just went and left it. So we were able to finally get that off after trying different things. But anywhere where the paint was on the non-skid, 
couldn't get it off as you can see. So I am most excited to see the transformation of our transom. Transformation of our transom. Say that three times fast. Transformation of our transom. Transformation of our transom. Transformation of our transom. Say it. Try it. Try it, Bear. No. Try it. Transformation of our transom. Transformation of our transom. Faster. Three times fast. Transformation of our transom. Transformation of our Faster. transom. Transformation of our transom. Faster. Transformation of our transom. Three times in a row. Really Transformation good. of our transom. Transformation of our transom. Transformation of our transom. I feel like it wasn't that quick. I think that's pretty pro. Anyways, most excited, but I am sick of taping though. <laughs> There's been so much taping that we've done in a short little while. I guess from taping the hull for the bootstripe, the bottom paint, and now all these different sections on the deck in awkward positions, but it's gonna look good. I'm sick of pulling little pieces apart <laughs> so we can get to painting. Yeah. I'm putting well, it back, but all so, part of the job. And it'll look real nice. Are you gonna remove the davits? What do I you think, think? I think you should remove it because if we were to paint around, and for some reason if you needed to remove these one day, you'd just see an ugly, unpainted part, and it probably has paint splatter underneath it too, see that? So it would just suck to, if you had to remove it, and just have this ugly patch, right? I know it sucks for you, but it's one of those things. Yep. It's in the details. It's all in the details. It's in the details. So satisfying. Do you like the bag better than the can? Well, I can squeeze it out. You don't need a trowel? I'm kind of doing it the way I feel. So like, see how it doesn't make a sound right now? Yeah. So like, I'm trying to go by. And when it goes, <laughs> like it starts to get sticky. Oh, so squeezy bag, no trowel, it looks easier. Wow. It's a thinner application, it seems like. The nap roller? Well, I just applied it really thick, and I just... I don't know, didn't need to, I guess. But it's hard to get it uniform down the whole deck when you're trying to do it in sections. Yeah. We're almost done painting the whole boat. We are ending off with the starboard side, and we're just taping it up this evening because it really is the best time to work really early in the morning or when the sun's setting, just so the sun's not beaming on us and on the deck. And after I'm done taping this up, Travis will get to painting it and then we will be done. Clouds are gonna come rolling over the hill. I don't think it's raining hard enough that it's gonna leave any indentations. I'm hoping it just it dried enough that the initial tack is gone so it won't absorb. Because it dries really quick. Suck of a ruined it, we had to redo it. This is it before. Raindrops right now. gray here is a little bit more blue toned than the old one and it actually goes a lot better with the stark white that we have here. And it just brightens it up a lot more than having the contrast with the older gray and the really bright white. What are you working on now? Putting the davits back on? Yeah. 
Oh, oh, I thought you were walking on that deck. <laughs> Actually, no. But I didn't even think about it. I didn't know you reminded me, but I was like... She just tromps on through where I just painted. Get lucky. Can you put on some f pants? My God. <laughs> so sweet. It's like a brand new boat. It's staring at this ugly ass transom for so long. And now it's like pretty. Looks brand new. I know, every time I went to the transom, that's always where we like get on and off the boat. I'm like, ugh, it's so ugly. <laughs> and now it's nice and painted. So sick. I'm happy. You got to start wearing some real clothes. <laughs> I'm just like cutting it off. That's a wrap guys! We've officially completed our first year after sailing off from Canada. And after four and a half months in Grenada, we're on to the next. Thanks for watching and coming along for the ride. Be sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the start of year two in a new country. See you next Friday!